time comes, don't postpone it. When others doubt it out, you don't condone it. Truth be told. It's Welcome artisans, this is Rochelle Rosenberg again and we are going to talk about watercolor paper today. As I was like you before, when I was just a newbie, I was so much confused at what kind of weight do I have to choose and what kind of paper do I have to buy. So the weight of the paper refers to how thick the watercolor paper is. Hot pressed. Watercolor paper is very compressed during the making process, resulting in a very smooth surface. Cold pressed, also known as semi-compressed watercolor papers, fibers are more separated from each other. It results in a much rougher paper surface. Rough watercolor paper is loosely compressed, which means just like it's cold, it has a very rough surface. And you have to try yourself. All of these kinds of uh, watercolor paper shouldn't hinder you in uh, creating your uh, pictures or your subjects or any kinds of ideas that you have. So let's go to the next video. The texture of the paper is actually easy to determine. If I do it this way, you could see that um, it has a little bit of texture. It has a little bit of tooth. That's what it, well, that's what's called tooth, right? And when you touch it It's a little bit rough and If we're gonna go to this paper, this is from Canson and it's a multi-purpose paper which means it also says that I can use it in different sorts of mediums like watercolor, graphite, acrylic, or oil. And if we do it this way, you can actually see that it's a smooth paper. The third paper that I'm holding into my hands is made for aquarel. And um, it's 180 GSM, so it means that it has also some buckles. I think that you can see it, right? And these buckles or those textures creates some kind of um, texture as well in the painting. It's the same with all of this painting, okay? So I have different sorts of samples here that I can actually show you. For this one, I actually stretched it that's why the buckles are not seen so much and the other paper that I also uh, stretched out was this one okay now when it comes to the stretching of papers I will uh, show you how to do it in another video I hope that this helped you a lot and I hope that these small tips will preferably create some ideas in your mind to choose the right paper for your painting so until then all right so i hope that this also helps you and if you are new here into this channel please like and subscribe and if you're new to the website or to the page please like and share and follow so see you again on the next art Overnight and onto them you shine bright Cause inside your head on goes the light Ignite Clever intuition upon the stars in the night that glisten To you they listen to be you a that I wish in Listen Do your own math and learn from the stuff that you are missing Create your own path with your own vision